hello and welcome to well monster balancing and improvement so i might be a bit of late but i would like to get well to put out my opinion on this and so yeah and inform those who didn't see the patch notes so anyways recently we had a resource download and looks like this is it and let me just yeah i have a split there so i'm looking there because that's recording Whatever. Anyways, what I want to see, or what I want to say is, oh boy, hell lady, bet, I have her, and I just can't wait for this update. I just want to see the multipliers on this because, man, this is, that is actually crazy. AoE, HP, destroy. With HP, let's see, inflicted and destroy them, HP, okay. So, it's an AoE decrease defense and heal block and HP destroy. And attacks two times. I mean, that's like crazy. Bet was good before and I don't know why people were bashing her. I mean, her second skill isn't the best, but... The third was like a Rakan killer. You strip Rakan, or if he doesn't have immunity, he's dead anyways. Because my level. Even if he doesn't die on turn 1, he won't really do much because destroy HP. Even though that's not widely used, well, rune set, people can counter him that way. Hell Lady Wind, the chance of removing beneficial effect. Well, this is nice because, I mean, it was nice for, like, Tiamar killer, but now it's just amazing. CM perk, skill cooldown, okay, go boy. Skill cooldown, may mean I don't have a uh, Poseidon, so I really can't talk about this, but... Hey, I guess good for you, Poseidon Aurus. Ninja, Fire Dark. I don't know, does anyone actually use ninjas? And especially, I mean, Dark is, I think, 5 star. If I'm, no, I guess, I'm not sure actually, but I know he is really a decent nuker, but he's a single target nuker, so, yeah. And I really don't see him used, and Fire, not that much. Occult Girls, Fire, Wind, Light, Toy Knight, okay, increased damage, not that good. Well, it's a bit of increased damage, so yeah, for you. And a cool girl light, additional effect, increased defense. Hey, TOA level floor with occult girls. Just great. I mean, honestly, if you are doing it with TOA hard, they won't get a turn for sure. Well, they shouldn't get a turn. And if you're doing TOA normal, well, the chances are you can nuke it like really high because, yeah, whatever floor that is. I mean, I just bring Tiomars, whatever, whatever, Galleon and something, and honestly, I didn't even think I can nuke it until I tried it, so yeah. So, Beast Monk, Awaken Dark, Crushing Blow, Granting Life the Drain. Well, I actually didn't see Dark Beast Monk that much, so I'm not sure about this. But hey, I guess he has a branding effect, and if he is on Violent, he can put branding effect on the whole team, let's say in Guild Wars, if he gets two or three turns, which is really nice. I mean, I don't know, as I said, I don't own him, but I guess that looks nice in my eyes. Polar Queen Dark. Previously, we covered the allies HP, okay. Change to deep. There is a lot of text. The damage increase will reset when you attack an enemy. Well, actually, oh, that is passive. Well, I guess, I don't know, it might be decent. And this thing I like, jackal lanterns. So, chilling, and every jackal lantern, if I'm not wrong, I don't know if common means for fire, wind, and water, or if it counts light and dark, but increase attack power and attack speed, so, well, you would usually build chilling, which is used in Dragon's B10, for speed and, I guess, HP, but now you can build him as Nuker. I mean, he has a bit slow animations, even though they increase the speed, but hey, I really liked it. But, of course, I don't have chilling, so, fuck me. Okay, Firelight, Ghost Appearance. Okay, that is also nice. I guess that is second skill. So might be good for Necro, I mean it was good for Necro before, but hey. 
I guess it can be used in other content right now. Horror is light. Increase attack bar recovery amount from... Oh, 30%, nice. Good for you. And I don't know, additional uh, brownie magicians. So they limited their wild enchants, let's say wild enchants, additional turn chance, to two turns maximum. Why actually they didn't increase, well, let them have how many turns you want, I know. It would be a shit fest as it was right now, but why won't you let them have that exclusive additional turn how much ever they want because that's a skill? And you let Wyland run wild with how many Wylands you want. I mean, if I was doing this, I would limit Wyland to turns and, well, let Brownie Magicians and other monsters like, what, uh, Windrock Shasa have as many turns as they want because that's their skill, that's not a set. So I don't know. I hope that made sense, but yeah. Green Reaper, fire. Okay. Living Hell actual skill. I used Grim Reaper when I was a younger player. And I actually liked him. I think that is heal block and dots, which is quite nice. Light. Okay, that was horrible cooldown. Still is, but I guess if you skill him up it's like more five turns. Since I never got prom, so fuck me, right? I got Jultan and Dark Golem from the Light and Dark Scrolls. Sky Dancer Light increases your attack bar. Okay, additional effect. Oh, so that is. I don't know, this skill reminds me of someone. Recovers your attack bar and HP. I don't know. Drunken Master, okay, nothing here interesting. Martial Artist, nothing interesting. I mean, who uses Martial Artist? I actually never seen one. And looks like Martial Artist uh, Fire will be new tractor because he can be defense broken, so yeah. Okay, Martial Artist Dark. I mean, I won't read those skills because honestly, who uses them? Maybe fire will be now irrelevant, well, uh, relevant, because of immunity against defense break. But other than that, I don't see any of them coming to being useful. And dark exploding hands. Okay, previously. Oh, this looks actually nice. So he inflicts damage and stuns the target for one turn. And if he stuns, he gains. Attacks one more if the target is. <laughs> that what it means so thanks one more so yeah I guess he attacks the same enemy he stunned so that's nice I mean I don't know how the skill modifiers are with that and if his stats are like I don't know if he is like defense monster has scans of attack but yeah skill of some monsters has been modified polar queen okay Leader skill, okay. Skill description, okay. Skill errors. Homunculus attack. Water freeze mine, the issue bar. Okay, and the skills that activate you're missing. Well, this might actually really nice. So if I'm not wrong, this is kind of like not a buff, not a nerf, but fixed to their skills. Because they weren't well applied in some situations and now they will. So yeah, that is that. I would like to hear your opinions about this patch, and if you came this so far, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this patch? I really honestly think that Hell Lady, well, bad, is the main thing. I mean, I am so happy. I hope the multipliers won't suck, because if they suck, well, you kind of ruined my bet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated and see you guys next time. Bye!